Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherie. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video today. And today's video is going to be a wig review. And I am already in my wig cap. Hair is pulled back into two ponytails. And I left a little part out here um, because this is going to be a left part wig. But today I am reviewing this beauty. And um, this is uh model model <laughs> i should know this before i just jumped on camera because i'm literally getting ready for church right now so but yeah this is model model bubble metal in the color om 430p and it looks like this on the card i haven't even cut it off the wig yet because uh, i just want to show you guys it before i placed it on my head um this wig retails for 31 dollars 99 i brought it from glamourtress.com um and the shipping was nine dollars so it's like well eight dollars and seventy five cents so yeah nine dollars so ended up being about forty dollars um to get this wig to my house um it does have soft waist in the parting space um right now looking at it i may have to do a little bit to it but um for the most part it's pretty decent so that is the parting space for me not doing anything to it um this, like I said, this lace does appear to be softer than, you know, it's not like scratchy and itchy. So it is rather soft. Um, and let's see, does it have any, of course it has adjustable straps in here. And I'm looking, checking for combs. Um, there's one comb, two combs in the front. Um, oh, and there's one comb in the back. So, yeah, let me go put this on and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back and here is the wig just placed on. I didn't do any plucking. All I did was remove the lace. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any plucking. Here you can see the parting space and I may want to pull it up a little bit because it keeps sliding back. So I may have to put like a comb or bobby pin in there, but... You can, you can see there's some hump action going on right here. Um, but it reminds me of, um, and I picked it out probably because it's very similar to um, another wig that I have, my wig with the purple. And I have, I have a purple one and I have a black one. Um, but this one has more of that um, goldish auburn um, color to it um, that I like. Um, it is very snug. <laughs> my head is big though. So if you have a big head like me, especially my forehead is huge. So um, it is going to be tight on your head if you have a big head. So it is not big head friendly. Um, but other than the look, I, I don't seem to be getting any shedding. I can feel it sliding back on my head. So I do need to put um, some combs in here because it is sliding. I feel it. But um, the curls are nice, easy for me to rake my, my hands through. Um, I'm trying to check for shedding. Let's see, maybe one piece of shedding um, right now. But you know, other than that, and you really have to like wear a wig for a while to really get the feel of it. Like, I just had this on my head for like a, two minutes. Um, so I'm not really sure you know how it is so I'm going to give you guys a shot of the back as well um, and I'm not in my spinning spin chairs I don't know <laughs> how I'm going to do that but let me see if I can do it for you guys really fast so yeah this is the wig I'm going to wear it to church and um, see if I feel any different um, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, it's a week later. And I, when I came back from church um, last week, I just took my wig off and I started eating. So I never um, got to finish on that day. But it's the following Sunday. And um, I was wearing this wig this morning again as I was trying to do grad school work. Um, so I'm just going to give you some of my thoughts. Um, this wig is really tight on your head. So if you have a big head like me, especially a big forehead, I have a humongous forehead. Um, it's going to feel a little bit tight. Um, I don't have the combs in them in the front. 
I do have the comb in in the back um, just for a little security, but I really don't think I need it because it's tight on my head. Like it feels really secure. And I don't really know how I feel about wearing it to work at because of I'm like, will I get a headache um, after having it on? Like I'm ready to take it off right now. So I wouldn't say as in level of comfort, I would give it like a maybe a five on a scale of one to 10. Um, but it is a good work wig. Um, I have gotten some shedding as I was um, brushing it with my brush. So I did get a, just a little bit of shedding. Um, when I run my finger through it, I don't really get any shedding. Um, it is, if you just need a good work wig, I would recommend this wig because um, the density is like average. It's not like really big. It's not too thin. Um, this side right here is always doing something weird and there's kind of a lot of flyaways with this wig, which could make it, you know, more on the natural looking side. And it does look really natural. Um, I sprayed some oil sheen on it this morning just to tame the flyaways a little bit. Um, but it looks really, really good. Um, so if you are looking for just, you know, a jazzy work wig, then I would definitely recommend this wig. Um, so yeah, and I cannot even see myself in a viewfinder because I don't have my contacts in because I had my glasses on this morning while I was doing work. So I don't really know what's happening in this viewfinder. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. So, but yeah, if you have any questions or is there anything I forgot to add in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Um, if you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of the family. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you can click the like button. If you did not enjoy it, just, you know, be quiet <laughs> and click the X and go ahead out. But if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. So that is it. You guys be blessed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.